Everybody had forgot exactly where I was at in the video. <laughs> I always lose train of thought because I seriously really do have short term memory. So anyway, I was saying like most majority of my friends, well, all my friends are female, whatever like that. And, you know, so, you know, me being around a lot of women, I pick up some of their tendencies and stuff like that. And what people don't actually know is that um, both men and women both have share uh, male and female genes, whatever like that. So, you know, we're going to have our moments where we're going to be considered masculine or ma we're going to have our masculine moments and our feminine moments, whatever like that. And people really don't know that, but they need to look up and research. And, um... So, yeah, I do have, like, um, feminine tendencies sometimes or whatever. And people seem to latch on to that and, like, try to consider you, like, one thing, like, feminine and masculine. Like, that's why I believe, like, people should, like, judge people or put labels on people because, like, it's just stupid. And, like, you end up, like, really not getting to know a person because you're trying to label them and put something on them. Or, you know, you're trying to label somebody that can't be labeled. Like me, I can't be labeled because... I'm diverse, you know, I change it from time to time, like, you know, I'm funny, I'm smart, I'm intellectual, I'm adventurous, you know, I'm just a billion things, and people try to, like, put something on me, and they end up, like, looking really stupid, like, oh, he's feminine, and then when they find out that, you know, I'm very athletic, and I have a lot of agility, and, like, all this other stuff, then they're like, oh, you know, then they be looking stupid, because, you know, you're trying to judge me and put me inside of one box when I'm just bigger than, like, that whole thing, you know, and people just need to sound like my friend. She was, well, <clears throat> this first thing was talking to me about, um, about, like, society and sexuality. And, like, she didn't really want to, like, label herself. And, you know, and she comfortable with herself. But she don't really put it all out there because of society and stuff like that. And that's just how it is. Like, if society wasn't, like, all up everybody ass about stuff, like, people would just be themselves. Like... I mean, people should just be themselves and really shouldn't be scared. But if you really think about it, if you was in the same shoes that people was would be in with society, like everybody being against you, you know, you would probably, you know, not want to admit who you are as a person too. But me personally, like, you know, I went through my trials and tribulations. And even though I'm only 19, I just really don't give a fuck. Like most people, they ask me and I just tell them. I be like, okay, like, what is they going to do? They going to fight me? They going to beat my ass? Because nine times out of ten, you ain't going to fuck me up. So, you know, you might as well sit that ass down on that. And, like, what is they going to do? They're going to call me a bunch of fags or gay or something like that. Like, oh, wow, what is that really doing? It's not going to hurt me. I mean, it's old news. It's tired. It's lame. <clears throat> or whatever. And <clears throat> society is just crazy. Like, all these stereotypes and opinions on people. Like, people just really need to stop because, like, it's just, it's, it's taking the fun out of everything. Like, people are just so quick to judge people and put stereotypes on people. And it's so funny. It's ironic, actually, because... United States of America is supposed to be the most open place. You're supposed to be able to, you know, be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do and stuff like that and be so open and free and, you know, free to be whoever you want to be. But we're the most stereotyp we're the most stereotypical, judgmental, um criticizing country like of everybody. There's other countries that just don't care and then people are just the people and you know, they don't play so much emphasis on one thing. And here you got racism, you got sexism, you got uh hate crimes and stuff like that. Like it's just freaking ridiculous. And like people just need to like stop trying to consider something it's so hard to say. People just need to stop just like putting stereotypes on stuff. Like just because you're super masculine doesn't mean you can't be gay. Because there are people that are super masculine or people that people consider to be, you know, super masculine and that are gay. And it's like, okay, what the fuck? I don't know. That comment just bothered me because it's like, what is that supposed to mean? And like, the character is not even Butch. Like, I don't really know what Butch is, but he's not even, like, super Butch. Like, super macho or something like that. Like, if anything, he make himself seem really gay because he's always trying to act like he's not gay. And it just makes you look more gay. Like, when people say stuff like, no homo, whatever like that, like, I just, like, first of all, like, if I if I was attracted to you, I'd become unattracted to you. Like, I, like I, I, I fall for people, like, really quick or whatever, and, like, crush on people really quick. But then when I see, like, little stuff in there, like, characters and their personalities, it really turn me off. So, like, when people, number one, if I have a crush on you and you say no homo, I'm not going to like you no more. And two, it's, it's going to make me think you're gay. You know, like, you're trying to make yourself lead off to be something that you say you're not, and it's going to make me suspect that you are. So, you saying that is not actually making me think you're not a homo. It's going to make me think that you are homosexual. So, it's dumb to even, like say it in the first place or whatever and it's just like 
people don't need stereotypes. And, like, they so quick, like, Chucky was saying, like, to focus on stuff that's not important. Like, the whole, um, America's Best Dance crew about the group of, um, gay men and the transsexual or whatever like that. And like, they want to focus so much emphasis on them being gay and having transsexual when they're not even focusing on the damn dance. And it's like, that's how people are. You know, they can't never, like, stay true or stay on topic to what is really real and what's really the main focus they always have to like look into stuff that's like completely unnecessary like what is them being gay and you know her being transgender have to do with the dancing like that has nothing to do with anything like stop focusing so much emphasis on their sexuality to focus more emphasis on them dancing and them being talented like you know and that's just how society are and i just think like it's crazy about these stereotypes about people and like how people just like <clears throat> they want to um box people up and make stereotypes of them and if they are this then they don't consider them that and if they are a certain way then they consider them this like it's just stupid and i just think people just really need to let it go like it's just so freaking dumb at the end of the day and it just makes like america seems really lame i mean we already fucked up because we in a recession and now we got a country that we don't even like half of the people here and we don't even accept half of the people here it's just like what the hell? It's like we're just a big ass oxymoron. So that's really all I want to say because I'm starting to <laughs> I'm starting to stumble on my words and stuff, and I'm really forgetting what I truly wanted to say. So I'm just gonna end this video right here. And now, when I get my thoughts together, I'll probably write them down since I keep on forgetting stuff. Then maybe I'll make a better video. But as for now, peace. Um, I'll make more videos later.